Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Omnia. This is Omnia's Wish. Um, I, my daughter just shaved my head yesterday. And after taking a shower and washing my hair, um, I twisted it and then kind of went around in a little bitty bun because I don't have much hair. It's only on the top of my head. And clipped it and it came out to be this curly thing, which you will see in other videos because I have it down. But it was really bothering me so what I want to talk about is some deals that I've been getting through um, either snag shout or some Facebook groups that I'm in um, the first one is this Artmere bamboo toothbrushes and there's four in the pack and they each come in their own box. Take one out. The handle is made completely out of bamboo and the fibers are um, they're, they're not plastic. They're uh, some kind of other biodegradable, biodegradable fiber. Um, I am looking to get a charcoal toothpaste that's uh, a good one. I want to get a good one. I don't want to try to get one that's just not a deal. I want I want it to be good. Um, so, and I think I paid two dollars and something for four toothbrushes, which is pretty damn good because they're they're natural. Oh, the bristles are nylon, so I think nylon breaks down, doesn't it? They're BPA free, natural, environmental. So. For two dollars, that's not bad. Um, I also got like I love Robin Moses. I love her nail art. I have no artistic talents, and especially to try to do that on your own hands is very hard for me. My daughter's got all the artistic abilities. I wish she would just do my nails. Just think of it as a tiny canvas, and she would be fine. But. I don't know what bugs are out. Sometimes she thinks she can do it. Sometimes she just is just like, Nick, leave me alone. So these are acrylic paint markers. Each one was individually wrapped. So yesterday I spent the day. This is gold. Um, and I haven't tried them on my nails yet. Um, is this one? Is this? No, it doesn't even have the color down. You have to kind of like sit there and push it on paper to get it to... For the paint to come down into the, um, I've only done it to two of them because I don't want to sit there smashing the tips on every single one of them. Um, and I paid like three dollars twenty one cents, something like that. It was twenty twenty something cents, three dollars and twenty cents. And there's twenty four colors in this box, and um, you know if it works, if I can get it to work. Or I at least can just do a French nail and then make some swirly things to cover up my not straight line on the tips, then I'll be happy. Um, if not, then they will go to my daughter or my granddaughter because they're the artists. I also got diamond painting. They say it's relaxing. Both me and my daughter are very, very anxious, so I figured. If I put this out on the kitchen table, maybe, you know, either one of us are feeling, I'm always depressed. Um, this is a horrible time of year for me. But um, it's an owl. We both like owls. She really loves owls. She's got a big, huge painting of an owl that I got her in her room. So uh, it's a snow owl, a white owl. And I think its wings are spread. I don't want to open it and have everything just come apart but uh, this cost me two dollars and change which was a good deal this is another thing that I'm very happy to have gotten um, I paid less than a dollar for this and I don't know how many is in here six two oh, one two three, I don't know six or eight um, these are uh, reusable bags for like vegetables and stuff like that. Produce bags, that's what they're called. 
but I'm also going to use a few of them to wash like um, the little things you use to clean your glasses, those little cloths, things like that, things that will disappear in your washing machine, your washing machine will eat them. I'm going to, you know, pull one of those aside and use it for that. So that was a good deal. Now, if you've been with me for a while, um, you'll know I did, we're doing this um, collab of uh, Love It or Lose It, and I had some wool, and I wanted to try wool felt, the felting when you make little creatures and gnomes, or whatever your imagination will allow you to make. All I had was a couple puffs of wool that I got from the swap shop. So I got this set for $4 and change. It has all these little packets of different color wools. Yeah, it doesn't look like a lot, but you really only need like a smidge. Like if you're doing like, say a beak, you only need a smidge of that. And I got the whole bunch of other wool to be like the inside. And then you got the case and it has these leather things that you put on your fingers. So you, you're not like a, cause you're gonna stab yourself. And it's got the different needles the handle for the needle and stuff like that. That is what I needed to know if I liked wool felting or not. So I don't feel bad that I spent four dollars and change and got all this. And if it, if I can't figure it out, if I can't do it, if I'm not good at it, I can pass it on to my daughter. Maybe it's something she likes to do. If not, um, somebody else bring it to the swap shop. Somebody else will find it useful. Somebody will find it. Useful. So those were the deals that I got through like the Facebooks and Snack Show. I also got something else that's coming on the way. It's a gift for somebody um, and I cannot say because um, I know I know my daughter doesn't watch my things but still um, uh, I just can't say it. I don't want to say it um, but uh, I didn't pay like two dollars for it either. Uh, I think it was like half off or something like that and it was something really nice so um, yeah so those are like my deals. I'll leave the links to the places where I get these deals from uh, if you want to join these groups and snag a deal. There's something there that you're looking for. Sometimes it's, they'll ask what are you looking for and they'll try to find deals and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so those are my ideas. I don't have to leave reviews on this because once you start using codes in your Amazon, you will not be able to leave a review. You can leave seller feedback sometimes. Sometimes it'll allow you to leave seller feedback, um, which is all right. Um, but the people that post these things cannot ask you like in this cer these certain groups, they cannot ask you for a review. Um, I do not do the PayPal refund thing. It, you're gonna get screwed. Um, a lot of them, a lot of them are over like in Asia or something, uh, somewhere in China, and um, they will ask you. It'll say for because to get a review, you can't use a code. So that you want you to pay full price and they will ref refund you the money after it has arrived and then they refund you money. A lot of them don't do that. So I don't even bother with that. I don't even want that fuckery in my life. Um, I don't want to get screwed over. Especially if it's poor quality like with a t-shirt, that hoodie that I got that one time. Um, you know, thank God I only paid a few dollars for it. but pay full price and then get screwed and it's poor quality. No. So do the codes only. Only the ones that will give a code. And uh, listen to the girl in the group, the admin. She knows what she's talking about. So <laughs> that's it. That is the deals that I've gotten that I could find around the house. And um, if this goes up before the holidays, I hope you have a wonderful holiday. Whatever holiday you Celebrate, that's the word. Um, I hope it is wonderful and happy and you know, you have a good time with your friends and your family. And uh, yeah, and if it's 
after the holiday, and I hope your holidays were wonderful. <laughs> Still wonderful, and it was happy with all your friends and family. Um, so thank you. I've wasted enough of your time. Thank you for spending some time with me. Uh, please like, subscribe, do all that YouTube stuff that everybody asks you to do, and have a wonderful day. Bye.